Hi, it's Nitya with Nitya Living. Thanks for checking in. Um, please subscribe and like if you are interested in feng shui and Bazi Chinese astrology. So I am talking to you today about the flying stars feng shui for October. Um, flying stars is an advanced formula of feng shui and it, um, it's hard to even describe what it is. It's just um, suffice it to say it's how energy moves and energy is always moving. It's one of the reasons why date selection is so important. When I signed the contracts, the contract for my new home, I made sure I was facing the best direction. And um, I double checked to make sure it was an auspicious day to be signing a contract. So um, our energy changes by the hour, by the day, by the month, by the year. So that being said, um, and when we look at a home, the, when the roof is put on the house is typically when the energy of the home is sealed. And that is the birthday of your home. We run through 20 year cycles. Um, the one that we're currently in is started in 2004 and we are shifting very quickly into from the earth period that we have been in the last 20 years. Um, and I've talked about this, that these past 20 years, there's been an increased focus on that which nurtures on the earth herself, on the, there is no longer the idea that climate change is something that we can prevent because it is happening. We are living in a world of climate crisis. So let's make sure we understand that. Um, it's not to say that we can in, an, in our individual lives make changes to protect the environment, to, you know, just looking at how you go grocery shopping is a huge place to start. Just removing the enormous amount of single-use plastics. Um, yeah, so... Um, we are coming into a, I know Western astrologers have been saying that October is pretty feisty and I would have to say the same because here we have the dog. This is a yang earth, yang earth, because the dog is yang earth with a little fire and metal tucked in there. And with all this dry, dry earth, and when you look at where the dog sits on the world map, it sits right over the western part of Mexico and the desert southwest of the United States, all along um, like Montana, Colorado, Oregon, California, Nevada. All of those states fall under the dog. So the dog is very dry and hot. So when I'm seeing this energy coupling with the tiger, um, I feel this verve of energy of the horse and the dog coming together to create um, justice because that's what the dog is all about, bringing justice. And the tiger is dances in two different worlds, the worlds of feeling like not doing anything and the world of jumping in. And I get this feeling that this coming month, we are going to see a lot of people jumping into an arena. I would ask you, what is your cause? What do you get riled up about? Is it the fact that women's rights are being taken away in the United States? Is it the fact that you don't like the way that elections are run? Is it the environment? Is it your kid's education? Is it health care? We all have something, some cause that is our battle cry. And that's what we're going to see in October around the world protests. There is going to be, it feels like to me, a real surge in people standing up for those who can't stand up for themselves, for 
yeah, it's a battle cry. That's really what I keep feeling in myself. What is that battle cry? And since we just are leaving the month of the rooster, which is all about being heard and speaking your truth. Now it's like we now take that voice and we put it towards a cause. Okay. All righty. Um, October begins on the 8th, which is the day that I move. It feels very auspicious to me. Um, in my own Bozzy astrology, I am a fire horse person. The tiger, the horse, and the dog come together to create fire. And fire for me is um, money. And it's also manifesting. It's all my hard work coming into harvest. And that's really beautiful. So if you haven't had your Bozzy Chinese astrology chart written, I would love to do that for you. And you can go to knityaliving.com to order your own chart. I also have the option for couple charts. And I've been, I just posted one about Ozzy Osbourne and Sharon Osbourne. Um, it's really fun to see how couples, you know, collide, combine, you know, make it work, not make it work, where their bumpy spots are. Um, all right, so let's go through, um, the house, your apartment, your workplace, room by room, direction by direction. If you're interested in a feng shui consultation, I can tell you that the ones that I do are very personalized. Um, this isn't a Zoom call where I'm just giving you tips. No, no, no. I am documenting. I write a full report that goes room by room telling you, giving you advice on how to change colors, materials. Maybe the artwork needs to be switched around. Maybe the sofa is the wrong color. And, it, and it's in a written report that you can refer to. So um, if you're interested in that, let me know. All right, so the center of the home, we've been dealing with the five star, really problematic area. Um, not so bad if you have this as a storage area, like a closet or a bathroom, but oof, if this is like a hot water heater or a furnace, boom, 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 not a happy thing. Um, you really wanna keep this dark and quiet. This month, the three star, which is a wood star comes in. And the three star right now is very weak. Um, the five and the three come together to make eight, which is a money number. But because the five is so damaging, potentially damaging, I don't wanna mess with it. So even when the positive stars have flown in as, well, the three star isn't positive, but even when the positive stars have thrown in like last, flown in like last month, I still say, mm, let's stick with our original cures, keep it calm, quiet, dark. So make sure there's no family photos. I like to put something that is like a blessing, a poem um, to protect my home. Yeah. And um, a chiming clock is probably one of the best cures. Um, and the other is lots of metal, like a round metal bowl. All right, so that's the center. We're now going to come to this northeast, which we have the eight star of success, abundance, and wealth this year. So wonderful. This month, it's visited by um, editing as I'm going here. Um, sorry so we've got the the six star I always find it interesting like I write so much content and inevitably when I'm reading through it I find edits and it's like catch them when I can all right so the six and the eight is wonderful energy for money luck and success really fabulous if this is your front door or office so this is a good fortune gracing you. 
Um, we want to bring an activity light and lots of earthy energy. Um, and yellow is the color here in the Northeast for October. All right, so we now come to the East. Now I'm saying to activate this area, even though the three star is cranky pants, a lot of disharmony, things could go really sour and gross fast, but it's blessed by the one star and one and three make a four, which is very harmonious. And I think if you bring in water and blue colors, this could really be a sweet area for um, October. But you know, the thing is that with this information, we have awareness. And with the awareness, I always say mindfulness, awareness is your bubble wrap in life. With that awareness, you can pay attention. What's going on in this area of my office or my home? If things start looking wonky, as you get into the weeks of October, pull back and don't utilize the space. Utilize the areas that you know are solidly positive, like the Northeast. So we come from the East where I would say greens, all greens and lush plants are your focus as far as decorating. Then we come around to an area that I'm saying to neutralize. The four star in the Southeast is where we have this big peach blossom of romance for 2022. But the sickness star, Number two comes in, excuse me, little yawn, it's Monday. Um, and the two star wreaks havoc here. So I'm saying to neutralize this area, even though a four and a two make a six and six is money, two is really awful sickness. I mean, this is not good energy at all. And again, it's like when you've got something that could be really oppositional, I just as soon err on the side of caution. Um, yeah, so like for instance, I would put away your love altar, which is one of the cures for this year. If you're interested in what a love altar is, if you have questions about the language I'm using in this video, please feel free to put a question or comment. Just keep it kind. We always want to be kind. Why wouldn't we want to be kind? Um, yeah, so um, I would say in general, stick with your shades of green, healthy house house, house plants, and um, four stalks of lucky bamboo in a blue vase, beautiful energy. And a Quan Yin statue tucked up high on a shelf will be your blessing and your protection. Okay, for instance, in the Southeast, if somebody falls ill, you know to run into that area of your home and check out what's going on. And if it's not going on there, go over to the Southwest. It's really good to be fully aware of all the energies in your home so that as life is happening in real time, you can say, whoa, 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 what's going on? I'll give you, a, this is wild. And you know, I can honestly say if a client had shared this with me, I would have been like on full alert. So straight out, I am in the North, which is the career corner. My career has gone through radical change since COVID. Directly outside my window in the middle of the front yard was a tree. And all summer I was watching this tree die no matter how many happy hugs I was giving it and pats of reassurance, the tree died. Now, dead trees on a property are bad news. It means some part of your life is dying. Um, if it's in the on the left side, it could be the man of the house. If it's on the right side, it's the mother or the female of the house. Now, you also look at the direction. And again, this is in the north. In the same line, I had my butterfly bush and an azalea bush also die. And this is all in the last three months. So the tree was taken down and now I have a little pile of mulch where my sweet tree was. And I covered or I pulled out the dead bushes because again, you never want to have dead plants of any kind. Bushes, plants, 
potted plants, trees on your property. Um, it basically signals some aspect of your life is dying or going through a transformation. After all, all things die and come back in some form or other. So I looked at this whole thing very carefully because I could have gotten very worried. Like, is my career going to die? Um, but no, actually, I think in a very sweet way, what was dying was the old, outdated aspects of my business that COVID said could no longer be. And as painful as that journey has been, I'm now in a different place and my career has transformed itself. So in some ways now with these dead plants and dead tree out of the way, the way is open for the Phoenix to fly. For my career to now, there is nothing blocking the North. It is a wide open field for my career to grow and thrive. And that's what I've been seeing happening. Just a little side there. All right, so where were we? We've come from the Southeast to the South, which has the beautiful nine star of future wealth. I always put a vision board where the nine star is. Um, this month, seven star. Not good. The seven star means that the, all that goodness that's flowing in or could be flowing in could be met with lawsuits, legal action, backstabbing, defamation, even as bad as bankruptcy. Not a good thing. Now the seven metal star, it's weakened by the fire of the South. It's also in a conflict. So the best thing to do, I think, is to just stick with the innate colors of the South and feed it, feed it with wood. <clears throat> and hopefully the seven star will give up because it has no power here. All right, I'm saying for the South to depress it. You know, some months we can enjoy the goodness, sometimes not. So now we're at the Southwest, <clears throat> excuse me which is where the two sickness star is for the whole year. And this is visited by the nine star. This is fire feeding the negative energy. So because of that, really be careful to keep this room dark and quiet, no renovations, no fire at all. And the best thing to do, metal, metal, metal. Metal, white, gray, black. Drain the energy, drain it. And hopefully the nine star won't wreak havoc here. Next, another area to depress, the worst area of this month. Serious caution needs to be exercised in the West, which I am now realizing is the exact area that I was suggesting before where the dog is sitting in the United States map. And this is doubling up on that. This gives me real cause for concern about the sustainability of living in an area that does not have enough water for the farms, for the people, for you to have fresh drinking water. Um, this is gonna become a big, a, a crisis that will continue to grow in the coming years and decades, our need for drinking water. I really hope one day, very soon, they pass a law saying you cannot water a golf course and you cannot water lawns. The only thing you should be watering is land that grows food. You know me, I've said this before, I am no fan of a lawn. It, it, it serves no purpose. Anyway, it's like if we're gonna have space, green space, let's grow food. Let's plant some trees. All right, so the worst energy in the West is the seven star, which I said before, 
This is violence. This is a sharp blade. Lawsuits, surgery, bankruptcy, sickness, misfortune. Being met with the five star, which is like total doom. Um, like honestly, if anything could go wrong, it could go wrong. So look carefully at where the West is in your house. If this is a bedroom, I would vacate it. If this is your front door, I would not use it. If it is a door that you typically use, don't use it. If this is your kitchen, cover the burners with um, cookie sheets when you aren't cooking to protect you because a stove represents fire. Um, you want to put down things that are blue for this month, black, white, and gray. Metal is your friend here and um, silence darkness, inactivity. And the thing is, it's like you can have the worst energy all around you, but it's not going to affect you if you don't activate it. So now we come to a great energy. Thank you. Thank you. Because it was getting a little depressing. So we want to activate the Northwest, which is the sixth star of good fortune with the four star coming in, bringing a loving, creative vibe. Now, the problem is the four star is wood and the Northwest is metal. So we wanna mitigate this, this conflict of wood and metal. What is between the two is water. And we always look at the cycle of relating. Fire create, creates earth, earth, creates metal, metal creates water, water creates wood, wood feeds fire. And the cycle of destruction, fire melts metal, metal cuts wood, wood covers the earth, earth absorbs water, water puts out fire. So whenever you have the conflict, you look for the element that's in between, and that's your mitigator. Okay, and again, if you have questions, just let me know. Um, so the four and the six, wonderful energy. And I would, again, put splashes of blue to mitigate um, the clash of the four wood and see if we can't get some really wonderful creative projects, um, education, school projects, all would meet with great success in the Northwest so the one star is in the north. This is another area to activate because it is met with the good fortune of the eight star in October. Now, the three killings is in here. Remember, there's afflictions every year, so you want to pay attention to that. But um, in general, the north is an area to activate with light, with movement, um, great room for abundance and good fortune. Now the eight star is an earth element. And because of that, again, we've got conflict, the earth and the water. And so what we wanna do is mitigate what is between earth and water is metal. So adding a little bit of metal, and I was suggesting eight Chinese coins in a, in a prominent place on a square metal dish. Now, why did I say square? Square is the shape of earth and metal because it's in harmony with the two directions. Okay, so to recap, the best areas are the northeast, northwest, north, and a little bit the east. The west is the worst area, followed by the center, the southwest, the south, and a little bit of the east too. Um, so that's kind of the hoe down, low down for October. Interesting times, my friends. And I would imagine that in October, more volatility, a lot of protests, uprisings. People have had it. People are ready to speak up. People are ready to take action. If that is you, you're feeling the battle, you're hearing the battle call. Do what you got to do. But remember, 
that the most powerful thing we can do is walk the path of those that came before us. Look at how Gandhi, Martin Luther King Jr., even Greta Thunberg, this, that wonderful child that is out doing so much for the environment and for the youth movement in, in saving the environment in protecting it and slowing this great climate change time that we're in. All of these people have done and are doing amazing work through peaceful means. Violence is weakness. Violence is one of the most weak things that we could do. And I'm sure there are many people that would love to argue this with me. And that's fine because we all have a truth. And just because this is my truth and this is what I'm saying here, doesn't mean it's yours. And that's okay. I respect our differences. But I ask you, if you're sitting in a room with someone and you're having an argument, Let's say someone just did said something or did something that's creating a reaction in you, in your body, in your mind. In that moment, you have a choice to react with violence in words, in violence of action. And in doing that, you throw yourself away. Why? Because you're giving the other person your energy and your power. You're fueling an argument. The argument will continue until it's exhausted, until one person either backs down or the whole thing just comes to an end. You also have another option. And the other option is nonviolence. So that when somebody is unkind to you in word or action, your response is non-action and silence. In that you keep your power, you keep your peace. That person then has no one to fight with. <laughs> Almost makes me think, wouldn't it be the weirdest thing ever if all the people of Ukraine, everybody, just sat down. I sometimes really do wonder if there is a way to win a war without violence. It's kind of a cool thing to figure out how to make that happen. And why don't we have a Department of Peace to help us with that? So anyway, I would like to invite you to join me as we close with taking a hand to your heart and a hand to your belly, taking a deep breath in, an exhale, really big exhale, ah, big breath in, ah. Be well. Thank you.